I don't know what version of the story you got. Well, let's start there then. Hey everyone, I'm Ryan Johnson, and I'm here sharing some of my favorite behind the scenes moments from my new show, Poker Face. One of my favorite scenes in the whole series, Adrian Brody's character, Sterling Jr., first invites Charlie into his office. Hello, Miss Kale. I'm happy to finally meet you. Sterling Jr. tells the story as he heard it of the discovery of her gift. Once upon a time in Denver, a milk toast collection of the best poker players in central Colorado met at a Fairfield Inn suite off I-25. A young woman from out of town was at the table. Three hours later, she mopped the floor with each and every one of them. It was one of those magical days on set where just we kind of worked it out like we were working out a stage play. We settle down and these two great actors get to go toe to toe. And to hear you tell the story, I was a Cincinnati kid methodically fleecing my way across the country until my master plan was thwarted. Dude. I had no grand plan. It's also the scene where Charlie kind of gives her definition of who she is. She's, you know, basically a dumbass is doing just fine. I'm doing just fine. I love the way that both Adrian and Natasha play this scene. Holding an ace of spades. Bullshit. You're not reading the cards. How can I read the cards? You're reading me. Seeing these two actors dig into it and make it work, I was like, oh. I think this show might work. You've been graced with a gift. In episode three, we had had in the room the idea of a dog being the reason that Charlie gets involved in solving a crime. Avenge you? I don't even like you. <laughs> Loved this idea. Didn't love the idea of pulling that emotional rug out from the audience of introducing a cute, adorable, wonderful little puppy and then killing it. I kept wrestling with it, and then one morning in the shower, I just like, my eyes popped open. I said, what if the dog's an asshole? Go on, disperse. Ah, ah. Little company might be nice. The ice, God bless him, barked his little heart out. With some help from our sound department and our great director of that episode, Ian McDonald, we managed to make the most adorable dog in the world oh. look like a total dick. Oh, now you want to get out. Oh. Very good. He never reforms his ways, but at least he's happy and healthy. No ices were harmed in the making of this episode. Bad dog! Yeah, I said it! Uh -huh.